Hello guys, how are you today? Have you brushed your teeth? And oh, your toothbrush, have you ever wondered how it is made? Or where it goes when you throw them away? You're lucky then, because we are going to tell you about it in a jiffy. In this video, we are going to go through the life cycle of the toothbrush that we use daily. Today's discussion will be on the history of toothbrushes, life cycle analysis of toothbrush, which will also include the impacts towards the environment and also toothbrush alternative and recommendation to mitigate the impacts. This is how toothbrushes from the old times look like. Isn't that magnificent? Now, let's go through the history of these magic sticks that go through some sort of evolutions, I may say. The first toothbrush were made in 1498. Back then, they used hawk's fur to make the bristles. Over here is the timeline for the invention of toothbrush. As we can see, human civilization started to have concern of teeth starting from 3500 BC. They started using chewing sticks or miswak on 1600 BC. Bristles were founded on 1498 as I've mentioned earlier, on 1600s, the toothpaste us usage starts to spread. The first toothbrush, almost similar to like what we are using, was made in 1780. Only after 1918, we started to have celluloid handles, followed by bristles on 1920 and nylon filament on 1938. Starting as early as 1963, we finally got our electric toothbrush and up till now, we have all sorts of toothbrushes such as our typical boring toothbrush or super cool electronic toothbrush with multiple functions. Right now, we're going to look at the most interesting part which is the life cycle analysis of toothbrush. We look into toothbrushes raw materials, the manufacturing processes, distribution phase and usage till the end of its life cycle. Pay attention as there might be some mind-blowing facts that you probably never heard about. The first one is raw materials that are used in making toothbrush. These are the main raw materials that are used. For the handles which we call plastics, its major component is either polyethylene or polypropylene, while the bristles are often made of nylon. Hey, wanna hear some fun facts? Did you know that even though toothbrushes contain less nylon than polypropylene, nylon actually needs more energy than polypropylene to be synthesized? With that fun fact, we are now going to learn how toothbrush is made from scratch. Let's look at the manufacturing processes. The manufacturing process consists of several main steps. The first step is to mold the handle. To do this, plastics were mixed and shaped into pellets. The pellets is then placed in injection molding machine and melted. This can be seen in the diagram shown. Next, a rotating screw forces the liquid plastic into the handle mold. After that, the mold forms the entire handle including the cores that holds the bristles. The mold are then securely clamped and pressure is applied for it to cool. When it cools, clamps are removed and small pins push the handles out of the mold. After the handles were made, it will then be transferred to the filling machine. Here, the bristles are put into the core and stapled with tiny metal staples. Next, the bristles will be trimmed. It will pass through a trimming machine that slices the bristles to the correct length, shape, and design. Isn't it fancy? The last stage is packaging stage. The toothbrushes will then be packaged into either cardboard and or plastic containers. Labels are attached to the containers, for example, the description of bristles hardness. The packaged toothbrushes are then bundled into larger shipping boxes and will be transported to distributors. Now, now, we are already at the end of the life cycle. 
Let's look at the distributions and usage of toothbrush. Packaged toothbrushes are usually transported to our local stores. It is then bought by consumers and usually end up in landfills. What do you usually do with your beautiful toothbrush when you got them? Of course, you're gonna use them, right? It is recommended for us to replace our toothbrush once every 3 months. It is common that people throw away their toothbrush after getting a new one. When we throw away our toothbrush, it usually ends up in a landfill. That's where toothbrush life cycle usually ends. While we are happy with our new toothbrush, the old one that we throw away remain in the landfill for at least 400 years. Not being able to decompose, it usually have the tendency to pollute the ocean and beaches. Poor marine animals having to face the consequences of our actions. Hey, another fun fact! Most of us will use around 300 toothbrushes in our lifetime. That's a lot because toothbrushes are not recyclable. It has small parts that get stuck in the recycling machinery, such as the staples. Imagine if one person used 300 toothbrushes and it lasted for 400 years. Ah, uh, just how many are the toothbrushes in the world right now? I can imagine that. Therefore, we need to prevent toothbrush from polluting the earth. Let's take a look at some alternatives and recommendations for mitigating toothbrush impacts. One of the alternatives is by using bamboo toothbrush. Bamboo toothbrush are antimicrobial and biodegradable. It is made of mosel bamboo, so we don't have to worry. Pandas don't eat mosel bamboo, so we are not disturbing their food. Or we could also use manual toothbrush with replaceable head. This way, we can keep the handle and only replace the upper part. We can also reduce up to 80% plastic usage and reduce our general waste. That's a lot. Other than that, it is always a good idea to reuse our toothbrush. We can use our toothbrush for cleaning, be it cleaning the floor, cleaning the keyboards, or even the shoes. Now let's be a bit artsy and do this. Bracelet made of toothbrush for kids while hanging and we can also use it as a brush for watercolor. Wow, isn't that exciting? Here's some of the reference that I used to make this video. We have now come to the end of our discussion. I hope you get something from our discussion today. Thank you for spending your time with me. Check out our social media for more interesting information. Don't forget to like this video and check out our other life cycle related videos too. Bye!